they supposed to hate you when you doing big shit, yeah, nigga. They supposed to hate you when you doing big shit, yeah, nigga. They supposed to hate when you doing big shit, yeah, nigga. They supposed to hate when you when you doing big shit, yeah, nigga. They supposed to hate. Well, good morning. We are at our delivery drop, New Hampton, Iowa. And uh, so I pulled up there this morning at 7.30 and I drive in the parking lot and I see all these utility trucks and cranes and stuff and I'm thinking, okay, but where's the forklifts? Like, where are they gonna load me at? So as I'm pulling into the parking lot and looking for anything, uh, luckily a guy is out there. He already expected me to come because I had already called a couple days ago and let him know when I'd be here. And uh, he told me that was at the wrong location and that the actual place where I needed to unload was maybe a mile down the road and, go this way, go that way, da, 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 da. so that's what I'm doing now, and I'm here now, I'm pulling in. Look at the equipment though they got here, huh? Locally hated. Yeah, I don't know where they're gonna unload me at. I'm gonna have to sit out here and wait. shouldn't even drove over here like seriously I should have waited on the street let me see if I can get out of here without going through the mud or getting stuck all right so I was in the wrong lot but that nice gentleman right there came over and told me to go on back onto the street and go around to the east side of the building that's what they're gonna be unloading me so yeah so this is not the correct place and, and you know, I mean, it is the correct place, but it's not where they're gonna unload me or do any work. This is where they have their trucks sitting, and maybe they come and put the shit together. Because that's actually literally what I'm carrying right there. Except so that's a Century brand. It looks just like it though. But that's literally what's on the trailer, minus the truck itself. So, let me make my way around here, man. And get this shit off the trailer. All right, and we've made it to the drop. Ain't nobody come out to greet me yet, but this is the place. You see, they've got all these flatbed trailers with um, winches and stuff. So here we are. And uh, so anyways, it was kind of a tight spot. I had to come in over here off the street, make a wide right, come this way, and then come around and come around like this and do a whole circle right here and kind of straighten up right here and then kind of blind spot back into this spot right here and you can see i just my trailer tore up the grounds and all that weight dug the dirt right up so ah, they know i'm here you know two people told me to come this way so the first place I went to like I said I got to the location that was on paper uh, and it is you know the property but that's not where they unload this stuff or do any kind of thing like that they sell things there sell equipment sell trucks you know sell accessories maybe do some work there too as far as mechanical work and outfitting things you know but uh, as far as unloading things like this this stuff happens, I guess, here. I don't see a forklift, so that's kind of like, okay. But now we'll talk about the load. So the load. The load rode really good. I didn't have any problems out of it. Uh, I need to change this strap because it's fucking destroyed. But other than that, you know, like I told you guys, it was this one's been leaning this way a little bit, that second stack back there. But other than that, it doesn't seem like it moved anymore. Maybe it kind of just settled into position or, you know, the, I think the real reason why I was leaning is because, um, cause I had this, I have these straps so tight. I've got them so tight pulling on that side. Of course, I think that because they're pulling down, that's what's causing them to kind of lean a little bit. Either that or they shifted and moved and that makes total sense too, but I wish they would let me know where they're going to unload me so I can go ahead and get these straps off because otherwise I'm just sitting here and waiting 
And, and by the time they get ready, I could already have this thing unstrapped and ready to go for them to just take off. Uh, so I don't know yet though. So I'm not going to just take it off and then they'll tell me to move because that's probably what's going to happen. They're probably, you know, don't, I don't even know where they want me. So that being said, I'm just here waiting on orders. But I'm going to get on the phone and call them, see what's going on. All right, so they told me over the phone that they wanted me to move into an open area and get unstrapped so that when they do get over here, they can just unload me, like I said. And the reason why they're not here right now is because they said they can't get their forklift out right now because they're pumping oil, whatever that means. But I am glad that they at least told me to get into an open area you know, unstrap. I think this is a good enough area for them to get, have some room to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and get unstrapped. This guy's looking at me like I'm crazy over here sitting in the tanker. He's like, what is this guy doing, right? Because I done did like some eight point maneuvers and shit, but now I'm talking to myself. But well, we'll get our handy dandy Viper. I mean, uh, tool, not Viper, tool. And I'm going to make sure that this camera stays on me so you guys can see how I die when I unstrap this right here. It's kind of got me a little bit nervous, but I think we'll be all right. So let's see. So these guys asked not to be recorded and <laughs> they came up, he asked me on the forecast, he said, hey, what's up with the camera? I said, oh, in case I get killed? He said, <laughs> he laughed, you think we're gonna kill you? No, I'm, I, it's in case I get killed by these things while I'm unloading them. I'm scared of these things. Uh, so he said, yeah, we don't want to be filmed. I'm like, that's fine, I'll take it down. Not a problem. Oh, but they've already got one off right now. I'm just undoing all this right here. But they're using the forklift and this guy's standing on like this man lift and he's going up there and he's hooking up chains to it. Let me show you. There it goes. So anyways, while they're getting all that done, taking off of here, I'm going to go ahead and as I'm taking these straps off, pick up my straps, throw them in an area. I'm gonna keep these little rubber deals that protect stuff and this soft wrap crap. I've got too much of that crap already, but these rubbers are nice though. Let me get these straps. And here's a look at the next load. 